What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a player of the week review kicking off your Thursday content with the review of these players. So the worldwide agent player of the week, best players from last week. Couple of good choices in here lads, especially if you are starting off, right? If you are a newcomer to the game, which a lot of new people are downloading the game, there's some very good players in here, including Muller and Benzema, who I would say are definitely worth it. We also have Tonali as well, who is going to be worth it. He looks like an absolute monster and the pick of these. Ben White looks beastly as well. We've got a couple of diamonds in the rough. We've also got a couple of rough, rough, rough. Uh, players as well but look I mean it is kind of at the stage now where they are releasing a lot of different players so we're going to get straight into it there is a couple of nice players in here as I said and we are going to start with Redmond so Nathan Redmond creative midfielder uh, or playmaker I should say but down as a right midfielder he can pretty much play the H formation left right through the middle everywhere but CF that's where he can play right you can see there it looks like a H formation position guide up there he does have super sub he does have standard form but he's on a rating so the ratings are back which is a big thing compared to last week obviously that was a bit of a pity that a lot of people signed players last week and the rating system was just set to c so that's back now all these players as usual have 90 team play style proficiency if you are starting off i think and you pull this guy i do think he's a fairly average right midfielder the thing that i don't like about this card is he doesn't excel in anything he's no stat over 90 apart from acceleration and balance and those guys are a dime a dozen which we will get to see in a second but i do like the fact that he is a super sub and that he can play a lot of different positions and this is also the best version of him that they have released so if you are a redmond uh, redmond fan then you're in luck wijnaldum this guy is on a rating again this week uh, as well he has got standard form but he's got interception and one touch pass he's also got fighting spirit and cut behind and turn scissors faint soul control and heading so a bit of a unique card I don't, again, I don't like cards that don't have over 90 in at least one or two stats that they should have. I mean, if this card had 90 type possession, I would say that it would even be better. But because he's cut off at 88, I don't think he's going to, you know, take the place of somebody else that's even better in this pack, right? Which we will take a look at uh, Tenali in a second, who's a box-to-box. -box. But as a box-to-box -box player, he's not a bad option to have if you don't have anybody else in your squad. I mean, look, depending on, it's all about perspective, as I say every week. It, depending on your squad and where you're starting off in your dream team journey a lot of these players are going to be really good for you and they're going to be huge upgrades on the standard players that you have and some players are not even going to make your squad because you have got epics or you've got legend teams so um it is all about perspective martinez we get another version of him not going to spend too much time on him lads he does have standard form on a rating he doesn't he does have long throw um and low punt but that's it and then also on top of that, his stats, his goalkeeper stats, in my opinion, are not worth it. If you spin him, I would not use him. I would definitely use a, a better keeper than that. We will have a video coming out on the best players to use for, use for the live update as well to maximize your chances of getting stat boosts. We also have St. Maximin and Diamande. This guy is center back. He's down as a destroyer. And again, these guys are a lot, very, very similar to other players that have been released. There's a lot of players like this on the marketplace. I do like the fact that he does have every defensive play, player skill that you could possibly want, including interception and blocker. He also has 90 team play style proficiency, as is the norm with these players. 88 jumping, 82 heading. I just feel his stats are a little bit all over the place, man. I, I, de I definitely feel that this player does not look like a 91 rated player. I know he's having a good season. I know he was he's been playing well uh for Leon from the bits and pieces that I've been I've been reading about him and stuff. Um as a youngster he's only 21 years of age. As a destroyer, I mean there is serious potential for him in the future to get a better card, but I just feel his stats are a little bit all over the place, right? I mean his speed and acceleration don't really matter as a center back. But they're only in the 70s. And then his defensive awareness and aggression are in the really low 80s. So I think a lot of the points that have boosted up this 91 overall version of the card are his jumping and physical contact. Which a lot of that kind of like is kind of... It just doesn't really come to the fore like compared to defensive awareness or aggression. So I do think that this card is a little bit mismanaged or mismatched. I would say if this card's jumping was at like 82 then this card would be like an 86 or 7 overall card overall. And there's a lot of better center backs there, including regular version. Timber, I would say, is better than this guy. I would say Kunde is better than this guy. Um, But yeah, I mean, they're similar kind of height. You know, Alaba as well is there or thereabouts. 
<clears throat> we've also got St. Maximin. I mean, we've spoken about Maximin quite a bit. Standard form, but excellent player skills. Doesn't have any real passing skills. It's more about just outright dribbling. So you do need to be able to play this guy in a very specific way. I do like the fact that he can play left mid because left mid is a hugely important position now. Left and right wingers, lads. Uh, I mean, unless you're an absolute beast at cutting in and scoring shots, which is very difficult in V2.4.2, I definitely think you need a more all-rounder if you are playing certain formations out wide, you know? I mean, the days of just spraying it up to your winger, cutting inside and sweating it across, I mean, those are always going to be there, but I do think that you do get a lot of chances um, against you with your opponent if you're playing against a good opponent. Speed and acceleration, 93 each. 93 dribbling, perfect unity there between those three stats. And of course, we got the 90 balance with 85 tight possession and the pass and ball control are 70 and 81 respectively so yeah an excellent winger lads but you can get a standard version very similar to that as well so you know if you were just going to be spinning for say maximum um you know i wouldn't really bother compared to the standard ones the same with graylish he's obviously down as a whole player here this is a very interesting card we had a different version of him last week um and he's back again this week he's been on some fine form for city at the moment 90 ball control and dribbling 84 acceleration 86 balance got some nice player skills as well double touch one touch pass weighted pass and he can play into amf role which i think is where i would probably play him that's kind of where i would train him up is that amf role he's the perfect uh, balance of you know being a smaller kind of base player but still not really small that he's able to get those animations that are like tight possession dribbling and he also has the passing with 85 but one touch pass is going to be huge and the acceleration and balance are quite good for an amf as well as a left midfielder i probably wouldn't play him there as much as like a speedy guy um, because he doesn't have high aggression or he doesn't have a good motor with stamina so moving on, we've got Ben White. A lot of people excited about this card. And I have to say, he looks like an absolute monster, lads, right? So firstly, he does have standard form, but he does have fighting spirit and interception, man marking and first time shot and weighted pass and heading. So he's down as a right back. Obviously, he would be playing more as a center back before, but now he's playing as a right back. And it's hard to argue with the with the results that Arsenal are putting back to back. I mean, they looked very dominant this year. Um, but he has not got blocker, which is a bit of a pity. It would have been huge for a right back to have blocker, but not to be. So I don't think that you're going to be playing him as a as a right back, really, because of the lack of acceleration. I know I kind of contradicted myself in saying that you don't really need acceleration for your centers, center backs um, with the way the game plays. But I think this guy would be perfect as, as a back tree. In a back tree, he's got acceleration that is fairly decent with speed. But I wouldn't leave him out, you know, 1v1 versus a winger. Like, that's kind of not what I would do with this guy. But again, nice uh, nice card. Tackling is 90, 87. Aggression is huge. And the speed and acceleration, as well as tight possession and low pass, are very well-rounded for uh, a, a player of the week right back. Now we've got Benzema, lads. Fresh off his hat-trick last night. Obviously, this is a week late, so he probably will get another card next week. I would say I'd be more than... More than likely that he will. This guy is on wavering form, A rating, absolute monster card. And look, when we take a look at Benzema, lads, right, you do need to play with him in a certain way. Because he doesn't have that blister and pace and he doesn't have great balance, you do need to play with him in a different way than you would with Romario or the small base players. Mbappe, uh, you know, Son, Salah, any of those guys that you stick up front and just pass the ball to feet. I do think that the biggest problem with Benzema is his lack of pace, but I don't think it's something that would should stop you from playing with him because I've come up against Benzema and Lewandowski a couple of times and literally, lads, their positioning is just incredible because of the offensive awareness, right? It's not as good as it was before because I think a lot of people now are kind of clued into training up a player's offensive awareness so the runs are a little bit more direct. Um, but 90 finishing, excellent ball control, uh, acceleration and speed not too bad, but yeah, I would have liked to just seen uh benzema go all out there and just give him a 96 finish and 96 offensive awareness or something like that and just make the card absolute godly 98 overall or something like that because he is one of the best center forwards of all time but maybe it'll do that at the end of the year it's slightly disappointing um you know because of that lack of pace but that's just his card the lack of pace doesn't really you know hurt this card in my opinion from playing against him and playing with him and then we've also got uh muller so Muller is, kind of suffers from that same problem and it's hard to kind of include him in your squad because of his lack of pace but he does have unwavering form he does have excellent player skills heel trick first time shot one touch pass true passing and track back so a very unique card for an AMF obviously the lack of acceleration and balance is a bit of a concern with this card but 
I think, yeah, I'm pretty pretty safe in saying that I think Muller has the best, one of the best player IDs in the game, lads. He's, his runs and the positions he picks up, he just glides around the pitch. You just can't touch him. I've come up against him a few times and, you know, I might be playing somebody that has Cruyff in, a, in, in an AMF role. They'll bring on Muller at half time, and it's just like playing against an absolute demon. So, yeah, he is very slow. He obviously doesn't have anything else going for him apart from that AI uh, ID and the player ID and the way that the game, you know, operates with him. But 89 finishing, 93 offensive awareness and tight possession in 84 with ball control 85. Very decent with those player skills and that unwavering form, especially on A rating. And then our last two, right? So I'll leave Tonali till the end because he's definitely the pick of it. Lewandowski, everything I said about Benzema, this guy's got 93 in uh, the two stats. So he's got three more points into offensive awareness and finishing compared to Benzema, which I think is a little harsh on Benzema. I definitely would have liked to have seen Benzema get more, um, you know, stat upgrades than that. But again, you've got the same issue with the speed and the acceleration with Lewandowski. So I think for him, it's all about getting onto the end of balls, um, kind of using him like a super sub without having super sub player skill, unwavering form, long range shooting, acrobatic finishing, first time shot. He's also got penalty specialist, which is nice if you need that and heading and he's tall at 185 not the tallest obviously he's no young collar but you are going to be able to score a lot of goals in him the thing i don't like about Lewandowski, lads is he always feels extremely clunky on the ball even compared to players that are of a similar ilk such as benzema um he just always feels clunky for me uh, and you do have to play in a very specific kind of way with him it's very direct the minute you get the ball at his feet you're not really going to be dribbling and that is hard to uh, operate for a lot of people. A lot of people like to dribble a little bit, um, but you can't with him, right? So last but not least, we have Tenali. Now, firstly, right, before we even look at this guy, lads, I am going to look at Tenali's standard card over on DB, right? So this is his standard card. There's been multiple versions of him. We've had the AC Milan pack. We've had the Italian pack. We've had this uh, rising MVP pack that we had here um, that was part of that. There's a lot of really good versions of Tenali out, but most of them are Anchorman, right? This is the first edition of him that has got box to box. And I think it could be huge based on a couple of his stats that we have here, right? His standard form is a little bit of a killer, but you don't need to worry about that this week because of his A rating, right? That would have made his card absolute godly, right? But the big problem with Tenali's card, no matter what version of him that they released over the last couple of weeks, was his speed and acceleration and his stamina, right? So this is this has been something that his card has kind of struggled with. As a DMF, because he was an anchorman most of the time, you, don't, you didn't need as much stamina as defensive as you had defensive, but with this card, he seems to have the works, man. Absolute insane card. 79 speed with 90 stamina. 85 balance with 77 acceleration. Then he's got 77 offensive awareness and, and 77 defensive awareness. So he's perfectly balanced for how you want to play him as a box-to-box. -box. I mean, you could not probably make a player as good as this. As I said, when we go over to eFootball DB and we look at him here, you are going to have that discrepancy between offensive awareness and defensive awareness, right? Now, obviously, you can... You can change this down and you can turn up his dexterity and you make it you know 76 76 but you're still not going to get that speed acceleration or defensive capabilities with this card or any version of this card that we have here so that is something to keep in mind and even this card here lads where we have even this card here where we have the tonali version of the italian pack you can see you can get similar stats with the speed the acceleration the aggression um but then you're going to be lacking a little bit on the dribbling so this card, I think, is an insane card. I genuinely think he's one of the best cards that they have released. He has everything as the box-to-box -box that you could possibly want. One-touch pass, double-touch for dribbling and passing. Low-lofted pass and interception. Weighted pass, long-range shooting, rising shot. Speed and acceleration, as I said, the aggression at 93. Low pass at 92 and tight possession at 86. I think this is the best version of him that they have released. I definitely think that box-to-box -box, um, play style is better than the Anchorman for this card, you know, so I, I'm glad that they changed that, um, and what a player this guy is as well. But anyway, lads, that is it for the player of the week. I would say that Tenali, Ben White, and I would also probably throw in uh, Grealish as well as my three that I would probably pick. Lewandowski and Benzema, you know what you're getting with those, you know, they're kind of uh, been, been multiple versions of their, that card released if you are a newcomer i would say them and maximum will be would be worth it as well but there are a couple of ones i would avoid as well muller is a very interesting one depending on how you play with him but that is it for me lads i will be back quite soon with another few videos hope you enjoy the content and we'll be back with a live stream later peace